Hey everybody, we are continuing our deep dive video comparison series on the Zolio satellite communicator and the newly released Garmin InReach Messenger. So one of the things that gets overlooked sometimes is that you buy the device, but you also need to buy a monthly subscription plan in order to use these devices and to access features like weather, SOS, and check-in. So uh, what we're gonna do here today is uh, go over some of my recommendations when I recommend people what to consider, what to look at when you're considering one of these two devices. So first thing, we'll be considering the cost of the device. Second thing will be the uh, subscription plans, the best value, and the flexibility. Now, before we get too deep, let's understand why I mentioned those three items. First of all, these two devices are remarkably similar. Both will use the Iridium satellite network. Both will offer uh, check-ins, SOS, weather, and of course, you can send messages over Wi-Fi, cellular, or the Iridium satellite network. So that's why I like to look at those three areas. So let's start with device cost. All right, so let's start with cost of device. I'm not gonna say too many numbers, but my prices are in Canadian dollars. If you're in the US, just take 30% off. Uh, basically, uh, cost of device, right? 269 Canadian or 199 US, but the Garmin InReach Messenger is 369 Canadian. Quite a substantial uh, price difference between the two. Yeah, sure, maybe there's a few specs that you may want to consider, but if you're looking at budget, uh, this still does uh, very much in terms of value. So the next thing to look at are service plans. Now, both will offer three-tiered service plan so that you have a, both will have a safety and a limited plan and then you have a middle of the road plan. Garmin gets a little bit more complicated because they offer a month to month freedom plan offering with different pricing and then they have your annual contract which offers a little bit lower pricing. The only caveat here between the freedom and the annual contracts is that freedom you're month to month and of course annual contracts you're on the contract you're locked in. As opposed to Zolio, you just have those three tiers and you're month to month. So it's relatively simple. When you look at the pricing between the service plans, they're pretty much all within the same a few dollars here. You know, once you start factoring in activation fee and on the Garmin side, you have you seem to have an annual fee regardless of freedom or contract. So you get to see that, you know, once you add everything up, it starts to kind of line up. So then you look at, well, which service plans give you more bang for the buck? All right, next we're going to look at which subscription tier gives you the best bang for the buck. Now, since both of these two devices puts an emphasis on messaging, we're going to focus on messaging. So we're going to ignore the unlimited plan on both because they give you unlimited messages, but it's a higher cost, monthly cost. And I think most people will sign up or activate their devices on the safety plan first. So on the respective safety plans, you get 25 messages per month and you'll get 10 per month on the Garmin. So uh, 25 is a nice healthy number, especially if you're new to the device, you're gonna be using uh, quite a few test messages. I can tell you after my first month of using this, I'm above my 10 message allotment. So it doesn't take long between doing messages and weather forecasts if you're using the satellites. Of course, you can do weather or send messages via Wi-Fi or cellular, but if you just happen to be on the road or be in a, in a place with no service, well, then you're gonna be using your message allotment, either messages or weather. So a few years ago, we used to recommend people who had inReaches to say, well, if you're gonna go on your big trip or something else that you might anticipate, you'd be sending more messages or doing more weather requests uh, to move up to the middle plan for your trip duration, and then you can switch back down. Now, I'll be honest with you, 25 messages on the safety plan from Zolio is a little bit more healthier that I don't see the need to switch up as opposed if I had a Garmin. So, but let's take a look at the middle tier anyway, which is called the InTouch, and this is called the Recreational Plan. And uh, you'll go from 10 to 40 on Garmin. And this is all the inreaches that you activate to. It's not just the Messenger, but I'm just gonna highlight uh, the recreational plans go from 10 to 40. And then from Zoyo, once you go from the safety to the in-touch plan, you go from 25 to 250 messages. So quite a big bump. So that means that the middle tier for the best value for the buck, uh, Zoyo kind of gets it right now. So you're still 
uh, have quite a bit bit of difference between uh, the message allotment between two, and which is odd because both will uh, use the Iridium satellite network and both will charge you a message by doing the same operations. All right, and the last thing we're gonna look at today is after we looked at costs for the device, cost of service plan, which service plan gives you the best bang for the buck. Third thing is flexibility, how easy it is to switch plans, activate the device, suspend the device, cancel the account, et cetera, et cetera. So as I said earlier in the video, Zoyo's fairly easy activation, three plans month to month, you can suspend it, and that's about it, very easy process. Garmin has basically your freedom tier and your annual contract tier. So one freedom will give you month to month and the annual contract is you're locked in for one year that you can't suspend the device. So, you know, freedom plan is probably gonna be the more flexible one if you opt for the Garmin. And uh, there is a suspension, you can suspend the device and you can reactivate it also. Same thing here. So, you know, so both of these are fairly flexible if you want to use it based on your usage. You may want to suspend it over the winter. Yeah, you're not doing as much activities or if you're doing uh, snowmobiling, well, then you're probably going to activate it uh, during the winter or you just really just going to use it for camping or hiking. So you might just use it for four or five months out of the year, suspend it over colder temperature or vice versa. So in conclusion, if you stack up all those three items that we've talked about in this video, you'll find that overall Zolio is the better value option, both in device cost and service plan. And it is fairly easy to manage the device. Not to say that inReach is not easily to, but when you start to stack everything up, you see that it's a little bit more complicated on the Garmin side. You don't get as much value out of your subscription tiers and overall, uh, if you are to operate the device year round, Zillio ends up being uh, a, the cheaper device. So if you have any comments, put them down and uh, we'll talk to you guys next time.